Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So uh, this would be our tutorial to setting up everything on uh, Windows including Docker and PyCharm. So uh, I'll, I have a couple of things uh, which are pre-installed over here but I'm going to show you how to install them as well. So let's start. First we would go on to the website and from here into the docs into the contributing guide and this is our whole contributing guide so uh, first I will start on the setting up thing and uh, yeah so first and foremost thing uh, which we have to do is we have to clone IV and to clone IV we need git so uh, we will just download git uh, and just go on this link and yeah just click on the download button over here and you'll see a windows pop up right at the bottom but i'll just cancel the download as i have already downloaded it just to save you time so i'll show you what this link is it's the link to the main repo of the uh, iv so yeah If you click on this green button you will see the link right pop up here so after we have downloaded the git we open git i'll give it access and yeah uh, all of this should be just uh, just select where you want to install it and uh, just keep it uh, like just keep it on the default settings you don't need uh, you don't need to customize uh, anything so I uh, just keep it up with the default ones and yeah let's start and st started installing and uh, let's see what we have next uh, we need PyCharm too so yeah I'll also show you how to download PyCharm uh, this is the first link yeah so uh, this this should be for windows yeah finished and just ignore this this came up for the git and uh, yeah uh, it should be downloaded for windows so uh, so just make sure you have uh, your your windows tab is highlighted over here and just download the professional version click on the download button and you will see yeah it's popped up right over here i'll cancel this as well because i have already downloaded it so let's see how do we clone the iv repo uh, right so uh, wherever you want to clone the iv repo uh, just go into that folder and right click over there and do git bash so i'll just clone it over here on my desktop uh, and these are the commands given so uh, this might be the most appropriate one just copy it you know what this does right it's the link to the main iv repo and uh, yeah what does the recursive sub modules do basically this is a sub module right if we go into the iv test and test api it's a sub module and it's and it in itself uh, there are some sub modules too so uh, if you just uh, get clone the simple repo name uh, it won't just clone the sub modules as well so you have to run this command so we'll ju just do enter and just wait for it to be cloned just sit back and watch because it's a big repo it will take some time according to your internet speed you can see over here so just to recheck everything is present yeah so this test array api it's a sub module and itself array api test is a sub module so uh, sorry uh, array api is a sub module so i'll just show you this uh, if i go on to the github right over here if i go into the iv tests uh, this test array API is a sub module and in itself the array, array API is a sub module so yeah just just want just make sure that uh, these 
sub modules are also cloned with it so now uh, what was the next step so yes uh, because we are doing it in windows so uh, we we'll, would we'll follow this guide right so then it would be install docker on desktop so i'll just docker down and uh, install docker desktop on windows i think yeah so just click on this button over here and you'll see a window right popping up right in the bottom so i just cancel this download because i already have this over here so let's open this up and install it Just waiting for it to load up because these things are quite heavy. So yes, I will allow it. Let's see. Yeah, it's downloading. So let's see what we have next. In the meantime, let's just close this up. And uh, WSL2 back end. I think we have this over here too. Yeah, we have to install WSL2. So we go mm, yeah so we just have an installed wsl command over here and we have to run it on powershell right so before that uh, we need this command will enable the features necessary to run wsl and install the ubuntu distributions of linux so yeah i would suggest you to uh, go on to the microsoft store over here and just write ubuntu over here yeah and just click on the get button over here whichever version you want so i think so 20.4.5 is the best uh, these all work the same but the latest version uh, just try avoiding it it's always the best practice so yeah so uh, now what we do after installing because i can show you i have this on the pc over here 20.04.5 uh, rts let's just yeah so you know the only thing you have to do is just go over here uh, open your powershell yeah so uh, just check which of them are available uh, these are all which are available so uh, for instance for me i installed this one right from the microsoft store so i would just go on run this command with the distribution name like oh it won't be oh, i already have it so uh, i'll just uh, write down this over here so because as this says uh, wsl minus minus install minus d and then in the distribution name so ubuntu uh, 20.04 so that's it and enter for me it's ready but uh, i'll show you uh, if like it it will start downloading and then just it will be ready if you just run this command and it will open up so yeah this is you have to have this ubuntu to uh, proceed further yeah so docker had something to say Estimated time two minutes. Get Docker in a few easy steps. That's I think so. The upgrade and just skip the tutorial and yeah, there you have your Docker, your simple Docker container running. So yeah, uh, now what we have to do get the latest Docker image for IV by uh, running Docker desktop opening command line and running the command so command line and running the command this so what this 
copy this command from here just open command line this is the command prompt and just paste it over here and then we are good to go let's see what it gives us yeah so it's just pulling and it will take some time as you can see so let's just sit back and watch now as we can see that uh, this has been installed the latest image so let's see what next do we have so oh yeah it's pycharm and we have already installed it so let's open pycharm up and let's see uh, we'll open this up and yeah uh, wait I'll just just take a look at this let's see oh wait let's just install this wherever we want to uh, it's in the C right uh, it's wherever you you are suitable with it desktop icon and yeah just the uh, uh, basic and a thing to customize in Python 2 and yeah it's started installing and yeah I also just forgot to tell you that uh, once this would have been completed and if you open your Ubuntu from here right if you open enter this the screen will a pop up and uh, it, it just want your username and a password just write the username and just write the password and just retype a password and it would make an account so yeah now what we have to do is let pycharm install itself and let's see open pycharm with your clone drive so just let's just wait for PyCharm to be installed. As we can see, PyCharm is done installing itself, and uh, yeah, just finish. And here we have PyCharm. So let's see what next we have to do. Yeah, it's just open PyCharm with your Fluent IV repository and add a remote PyCharm uh, Python interpreter. So let's open PyCharm. to run and here we are so uh, you have to start a trial here by making an account and I'll just log into my account and just continue in the tutorial wait yeah so this is our pie charm so welcome to PyCharm. Now let's, let's see how can we open this. Just click on open and yeah, it just directly went to the IV repo uh, in the desktop right over here. So just uh, click on OK and it will just start opening. Yeah. So here's your pie charm and let's just implement this the last point which is point number five. So yeah, uh, now what we have to do is we have to open pie charm and then go into the settings. And uh, yeah, so as in the settings over here we have to just go into the build execution and deployment and then into the docker and uh, double click on this and it will show you nothing over here so you just have to add a docker connection over here and just apply and then ok and then what we have to do is then we have to go again into the settings and then we have to uh, go into the 
project and then into the python interpreter into the python interpreter we have to just click on this icon add and then go into the docker and yeah you can see docker is already here and the latest image which we installed in on our uh, command line uh, i hope you remember uh, we just add a three over here and then just click on ok and yeah just this this would pop up getting remote interpreter version just you have to just wait until it's finished yeah as you can see this we have everything over here and we'll just apply and click on ok so as you can see we've got a remote python interpreter over here so i think this marks the end of the video and yeah you're just good to go open whatever whichever file you want and just contribute in it so thank you so much everyone